with his half a million donation to the Florida Survivors March, he is viewed as a knight in shinig armor. And it seems George Clooney is getting set to play that role, literally, on screen too. The actor was seen undergoing a costume fitting in Los Angeles on Wednesday, where he appeared to have tried on several coats of heavy plate armor. The 56-year-old sampled the suits at a private house. It is not known what project the Oscar winner is working on. His only film currently in post-production is Catch-22. Based on the famous Joseph Heller novel of the same name, it is set in World War II Italy, a production in no need of medieval armor. The production is understood to be universal, if for the big screen it would be Clooney's first film since 2016's Money Monster opposite Julia Roberts and directed by Jodie Foster. If filming for the small screen, it would be his first major role since his breakout turn as Dr. Doug Ross in ER, on which he starred from 1994 to 2009. Or he could be shooting another Nespresso commercial. When not in armor on Wednesday, Clooney wore jeans, shoes, and a navy polo, with a full gray beard in effect. The day before, George and his wife Amal pledged $500,000 to the March for Our Lives Fund, organized by the survivors of the horrific mass shooting on Valentine's Day. The couple announced they will also attend the event, bringing their eight-month-old twin Zella and Alexander whose lives depend on a change to gun laws, they said. In a statement Clooney said, Amal and I are so inspired by the courage and eloquence of these young men and women from Stoneman Douglas High School. Our family will be there on March 24th to stand side by side with this incredible generation of young people from all over the country, and in the name of our children Ella and Alexander, we're donating $500,000 to help pay for this groundbreaking event.